Good morning. It's a beautiful spring day in Woodland Park. Mr. Sams. Mr. We're Bergman. In, we're in front of the Panther. We are. This is our Panther. Yeah, we're, we're at Woodland Park, Colorado. Yeah. And if you look over my head, it's easy to see over my head because I'm like short. Um, you see Pikes Peak. Yeah. And so if you're watching this from um, outside uh, of Woodland Park, you actually realize we are like we live in a beautiful place. We do. Those of you who live here, you, you hopefully know. hopefully you haven't gotten too used to that view. Because it's, it's still amazing. As I was riding my bicycle this morning, I was like, oh my gosh. We live in a beautiful place. We do. Well, we're your chemistry teachers. I'm Mr. Shams. And I'm Mr. Bergman. And we're going to be taking you through this little journey we call chemistry this year. And um, this is your first introduction to podcasting. This is how you're going to receive most of your instruction this year. So you're going to see podcasts. So instead of us lecturing in front of the chalkboard, we're going to actually, you're going to watch your podcasts as our, as your lecture at home. Yeah. And so we want to encourage you to do a number of things. Now, as you watch this um, this first introductory podcast, I want you to make sure that you understand um, there are a number of things that you're going to watch. Like, what are they going to see? Well, they're going to see video like they're seeing right now. Like, like yeah. good mugs of uh, you and I? Exactly. Aren't yeah. we beautiful? Mm. You need to yeah. shave. I know. I usually do. Once this is a, in high definition. Once a week, so whether I need it or not. That's right. <laughs> high definition shavage. Yes, indeed. That's you right. Shave. You're also um, going to see screen capture. Screen you're going to see what's on our computer screen. Kind of like a PowerPoint slideshow. And uh, we'll be writing on that, working out some problems. Yeah. And you'll see some cool demos. So we'll show you a cool demo here in this particular podcast. Uh, some chemicals mixing and doing some cool things. Right. So for the remainder of this lesson, we're basically going to teach you how to what, watch a podcast. How to watch a podcast because there is an art to it. And you can't just turn it on and you know go eat some Fruit Loops and uh, text yeah. your friend, do a bunch of stuff. It's going to take some focus, and you're going to really become very friendly so. with the pause button. Yeah, and you'll you'll hear from some students too who will tell you that very thing. Exactly. Watch the podcast. If you don't watch the podcast. You will not be successful in this class. It's very important. And so make sure that you do that. Here we go. Welcome back. Uh, Mr. Bergman. Uh, Mr. Sams. So typically you're going to see us sitting right here or in one of our rooms making these from our desk here. Yep. So um, I've got the pen. So I can oh, yes. use the pen. And I talk funny sometimes. Yes. I can use the Often. pen to uh, write with on the screen. And that so is a good thing to write on the screen sometimes. So let's talk it about is. that. Okay. So here we have chemistry podcast from Woodland Park High School. That's right. We're going to introduce podcasting today, hi. Huh? So, all right. Let's see if we can uh, do that. Now, first of all, we're going to be doing something called a screencast. Oh, Mr. Right. Sams, what is a screencast? Well, it uh, casts from your screen. Basically, it's just going to take a recording of what we're putting on the screen. So it's kind of like a PowerPoint slideshow, and we can draw on it. And so you'll see some text, and we'll work out some problems and some pictures fly in every once All in a right. while. So we have a picture flying. In. Oh, there's a picture of Mr. Sams and Mr. Bergman. Yeah, We've got like uh, I've got cesium and water. What yeah. Have? Um, I've got thermite. thermite. Nice. I think thermite wins. It might. That, yours reacts slower, though. Mine reacts faster. Yeah, that's true. So you might beat me to the punch. That's yeah. true. Uh, yeah. The crazy scientists. Mm. We are crazy. Yep. The crazy scientists. We do things. And so notice here that I can write on the slide. Okay, and uh, I can do like chemical equations, yeah. you know, like uh, a cesium uh, plus water, and of course that makes what? Kaboom. Kaboom. Well, it makes a cesium, cesium hydroxide. hydroxide and hydrogen gas, yeah. plus the key thing that's most interesting energy. is <laughs> lots of energy. It goes kaboom. There you go. So yep. you can see, we can write. So this is just kind of like our chalkboard, right? Yep. Yeah, so we basically have a glorified chalkboard that gets recorded. Yep. Yeah. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to show you a video demonstration um, that uh, is a chemical reaction that a couple of students of ours did. Yep. Um, and so you're going to watch that now. Okay, so we've got nitric acid in here and we're going to drop two <laughs> copper pennies. And that's, uh, and then we're going to stop it up with the stopper. And that's going to create a brown gas, NO2. And it's going to create copper ions. Uh, so that'll be a blue solution. And it's going to create an acid in here, and that'll push out and go into this flask, which is a flask of sodium hydroxide. Uh, sodium hydroxide uh, will react with the acid and push back here, and as this flask gets more basic, it'll turn pink because we've got some phenolphthalein in there, and it'll create red, white, and blue. All right, let's see if it works. Okay, experimental air. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, I think we needed it lower. Our liquid's lower in the middle flask, or our glass lower in the middle flask. Coming back. Yep. Cool. I know. It's the red, white, and blue uh, reaction. Because it's acidic. It's going to stop when this gets below the line. Right at 20 minutes. Look, 19 minutes and some change. So now that you've watched that uh, cool video with our great, amazing students, yeah, um, we can also talk today about this uh, importance of pausing the video. Yeah, let's, let's say you were watching that reaction go on, and as they were explaining it, or we end up explaining it, uh, you, you didn't quite get what they were saying. Well, normally, if you're sitting in class and you don't quite get what the teacher's saying, what do you do? Hey, what do they say? I don't get it. And then you get in trouble for talking, right? Well, now you just hit the pause button. And you rewind it, and you watch it again, and you can get it, you can get caught up. So use the pause button. Never before have you been able to pause your teacher, but you can now. Please do it. Use it. Use it often. Use the pause button, guys. And and we're gonna talk fast. Sometimes we talk very very fast, and you no, can't no, understand no, 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 no. it. Mr. Bergman has some crazy accent. <laughs> I, you can't you understand him. Pause the video. Really, the key thing, guys, that I want to emphasize, this is Mr. Bergman, is that you must very very much watch the podcast carefully. You cannot be doing 15 things at once. You need to give your attention. Did I spell that right? I don't All know. Right. Yeah, it looks right. Close enough. Uh, attention to the podcast. Do not try and multitask too many things at the same time. Correct. Okay, and when should, where should you do these, Mr. Sams? Where should um, you watch the podcast? Well, wherever you have a convenient device, but at home is best, not in class. Actually, okay, class time's for other stuff. Maybe not necessarily at home. You could do it at the baseball game. Out of game, class. The outside of class. The, the podcast should be watched outside of class. Right. Outside of class. Did you hear that? Where are you going to watch them? Not in class. Why not? Because there's other stuff to do in class. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because like, we've flipped everything on its head now. Yeah, that's right. So what are you going to do in class? Well, we're going to do labs. You're labs? Do okay, your, good. I like labs. You're going to do I your like play with chemicals? Stuff. Yeah, you can cool. play with chemicals. We're going to do chemical demonstrations Demonstrations? For you. And Mr. Bergman and I are going to walk around, and we're going to spend a lot of time one-on-one -on -one, leaning over your shoulder going, hey, what are you working on? Hey, you, do you get it? Hey, you don't get that. Let's fix that. Hey, you're doing awesome. You're going to get help to understand it? You really? Are, yeah. So I'm going to get help if I get you started. Are lots of it. Lots of help. Oh, yep. That's good. Just make sure you ask. Ask, ask. Okay, good. Hey, now we're going to watch a short little clip, or several little clips, of some students of ours who have been in chemistry, and they will give you uh, some advice about what uh, you should uh, yeah. do. Yeah, how to succeed in this class. All right. Do your work, keep up on your podcasts, or you will suffer greatly, fall behind, and it'll be really hard to work back up. Okay. My advice to all you newbies in chemistry <laughs> is to take notes on podcasts because if you don't, then you're pretty much going to have fun the rest of the year <laughs> without those notes. <laughs> cool. <laughs> yep. Okay, my advice for you would be to watch the podcast because if you don't, then you're not going to know fail. what you're doing. <laughs> yes, you're going to fail. <laughs> 